Uh, the more specific you can get, like feeling-wise, I'm not talking about writing down a piece of paper, I'm talking about feeling-wise, the more specific you can get about how you want to feel. Well, it's, it's, it's all personal. Like, you don't assume that everyone wants to feel the same way. But the second half of your question is a very, very valid one. Like, don't things happen that where you don't necessarily feel great all the time? It's not about feeling great all the time. It's not about feeling good all the time. Here's, what, here's again, this is a great question. I'm glad you asked this. Here's why the dream's important. If it's just about winning the national championship, I'll stick with that example. If it's just about winning the national championship, I can't really get excited about that when, you know, my shot's not falling, my coach is yelling at me, I'm injured, I don't really like my teammates, you know, I'm not really having fun, I don't like going to practice, maybe I don't like, you know, I don't like my coach, all kinds of reasons. Maybe something's going on in my personal life. It's easy for me to forget what I really want. But if what my focus is on every day is, like for me, fun is a big one. Having fun playing basketball was like one of the things I realized I really wanted. I never focused on that. All I was thinking about was, you know, being good, playing more minutes. That was a big one for me. I didn't want to sit on the bench. So I would go to practice thinking about, I want playing time. I, I want to be on the court. That was more of a goal versus I want to have fun when I play. I want to feel confident. I want to feel relaxed. Um, I want to feel competent in my skills. When I went to practice every day focused on those things, first of all, it was easier to handle the adversity. It didn't get me down as much. It didn't discourage me as much as when I was just focused on some external goal. It was more of an internal motivation. I can't control my playing time, but I do have some control over whether or not I have fun when I'm out there. I have control over how I re react to my teammates when I'm out there. Like, one of the things that I loved was playing hard. Like, I loved diving on the floor for loose balls, but when I was focused on not making mistakes and whether or not my coach liked me, I forgot all about diving on floors for loose balls because I was all caught up in the worrying about not messing up. So my point is not that you always feel good. Of course you don't always feel good all the more reason to have your attention on how you want to feel.